Dear children, welcome back to our science class. In previous video, we discussed about the structure of andresium and structure of gynesium. So what are the different parts in gynesium? So each gynesium start with the, the terminal part the stigma, then elongated style and the base part is it's very enlarged so that is called the ovary. So inside the ovary ovules are present and inside this ovule consists of egg okay that is female gamete. Then what is the speciality of andresium? So andresium consists of uh, anther and that means uh, uh, the tip okay and they're in the tip and uh, it is connected by long stalk that is called filament today we are going to learn about what is inside the flower observe the flower of pumpkin cucumber hibiscus bitter god ixora clitoria frangipani and snake guard using hand lens can you see the andresium and gynesium? Okay, now we check it. So see oleander. So first picture is the oleander flower. So this oleander flower, that flower contains both andresium and gynesium. So now consider another example pumpkin. Okay, it has two flowers. Okay, one flower contains andresium only, then pumpkin, another flower gynesium only okay consider another example bitter god same okay andresium in one flower and gynesium in another flower that means in the case of bitter but consider the clitoria clitoria contains gynesium and andresium in same flower okay now we conclude the concept the flower having both andresium and gynesium is known as bisexual flower. So once again, flower having both andresium and gynesium, they are known as bisexual flower. So now we are going to write about the next example for uh, example for bisexual flower. So jasmine bisexual is an example for. Uh, then Ixora, Ixora, then Hibiscus, ah, very good, Hibiscus, then uh, Tulip, Tulip, Rose, Rose, then Mango, then Tomato, okay, which is, there are so many examples. Uh, the flower having both andresium and gynesium okay so that is known as bisexual flower which are the example jasmine rose exora tulip mango tomato lady's finger sunflower etc now we consider another conclusion in some flower andresium and gynesium in separate flower okay each each flower so they are known as unisexual flower which is what is unisexual flower andresium and gynesium in separate flowers now what is our next step to find out different example for unisexual flower okay different gods that means snake god then uh, the another one bitter god bitter god then ash god ash god then pumpkin pumpkin then coconut coconut papaya so these are the example for unisexual flower now another concept male and female flower okay very simple flowers that have only andresium are male flowers and the flower with only gynesium are known as female flower pumpkin cucumber bitter god snake god ash god coconut and arecanut trees have both male and 
female flowers now next is male and female plant okay example fan palm gambuj that means kudambuli nutmeg in these plant the male plant has only male flower that produces male flowers and the female plant has produces female flowers then what is seed formation have you ever thought how seeds are formed in flowers yes now we are discussing that there are certain process behind this the male gamete from pollen grains pollen grain should reach the ovary and fuse with the egg fusion of male gamete with egg is known as fertilization okay after what is the result the significance of or result of fertilization fruit is formed in plants after fertilization okay once again the pollen grains consist of male gamete so this is pollen grain so which consist of what male gametes so this male after pollination this male gamete stick on the stigma and so this slowly that male gamete slowly goes Uh, to the um, ovary and fuse with the egg fuse with the egg so that process is known as fertilization that process is known as fertilization thank you have a nice day